Let's do Legion. You ever seen that movie Legion, 2010 movie? It is really, really good. I couldn't find a good JPEG. That's <laughs> so it's the soundtrack uh, cover. I can fix it. You can fix it? Uh, just like, yeah. There you go. And what a great picture. You know, it has the angel wings. It's got the, the MP, MP5. That's an MP5, right? And the knife. It's like, oh, this, sh- this looks interesting. And it is. It's a real. The first act of this movie is legendary. Legionary. No, it's not the same. <laughs> it is so good, the first act. So here's the thing. Uh, Christian. Uh, I should look at my notes. Christian themes. Angels, demons. God's pissed off at humans. He's t- he pushed us off, pissed off at humans. He's allegedly tired of our bullshit. And uh, I don't think that's necessarily something God would do, but maybe he would. (laughs) And they even discuss it. It's like the last time God got sick of our bullshit, he sent the flood. So now he's sending this legion of (laughs) zombies, basically. And uh, it's and and Michael, played by Paul Bettany here, uh, uh, earning his chops as one of the best actors there is, um, plays Michael, the uh, the angel who's going against orders and protecting, wants to protect humanity. And so he goes and helps this, he, <laughs> trying to find this child that's going to be born. And this is what's great about a movie like this, is that it all kind of centers around this, the birth of a child, you know, because it, it, it shows how important it is, you know, even when it comes to, you know, Christianity and stuff like that, the, the birth of a human being, like, even though I, you know, I, as I formed you in the womb, I knew, I knew you. You know, God knows who you, who he's making every single baby that's born. And that's, that's the beauty of life. That's the hope of all, all humankind. That's the point, you know? And so, uh, Michael wants to protect this child, but he's also go, finds this, finds, uh, the girl who's having this baby in this little roadside diner in the middle of nowhere. And it's, they saved a fortune on the set. I guess I had to pay a lot of extras cause there's a lot of extras. And so, um, got Dennis Quaid in there too. It's good stuff. Dennis Quaid is good in everything he does. And so uh, Michael comes down and helps them fight off these legion, the legion of evil creatures that are trying to take out humanity, basically. It is, and the first act is so good when everything's, like when the warning signal comes on and you're like, oh, it must be some sort of, you know, test or something like that. Uh, it doesn't seem like a test, you know, that added to the tension. And then the sweet old lady comes in and she orders a steak, medium rare. Oh, do you have a father for the baby? <laughs> oh, your little baby's going to burn. And she's like, excuse me? <laughs> your little baby's going to burn. And she drops the F-bomb too. It is terrifying. And then she goes nuts. I don't want to ruin the first act for you. She goes nuts and it gets real, real quick. And so it's uh, ooh, fantastic. It's, I'm like, yeah. I don't know, like a spiritual action movie. It's it's great. I love it. I, I highly recommend it. Um, yeah, it's, it's yeah. Like I said, it's like centers around the birth of a child, and that, <laughs> and that's the the like positive nature of it, you know. And Paul Bettany has a fantastic role as Michael. It's like he's going against God. God wants to wipe out humanities and humanity, and and uh, Michael doesn't. He still believes in humanity. You know, he likes humans. And so that's why he's helping them out. And he's going against God to help them out. And uh, and his role in, like, for the end game of the movie, see, I don't want to spoil it, Act 3, it's really, really good. And if you haven't seen it, you really should. Uh, I know there's, like, a lot of Christians out there who'd be like, yeah, I don't know if that's a really good, like, Christian type of movie. I, it, it, it's okay for me. Because it's there's a lot of scary horror stuff and there's a like good action, you know. It's it's an entertaining movie. It's like you know, I don't understand like people who will watch a movie like this and be like, oh, that's sacrilegious. It's like you know, enjoy yourself, you know, <laughs> just enjoy it. It's not like there's anything too blasphemous in there or anything like that. So, um, Legion 2010 movie, eleven of thirteen stars. There's one scene I didn't get where the uh, black guy pulls out a gun and everyone looks at him like, why does the black guy have a gun? And it's like, you serious? He's an, he's an adult male in America. Why wouldn't he have a gun? 